Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been two weeks. I've been really, really sick, which is why I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks. My deep apologies. I honestly missed filming and I kept thinking of content while I was sick so I could come back with some good stuff for you guys. Um, so today I really wanted to recreate Nicki Minaj's Carnival 2020 look. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna be putting up the picture either here or fill up the whole screen with it because she looked amazing and as soon as I saw that gorgeous minty green blue eye with the dark contour and the nude lip with the exaggerated liner I was living okay and I had to recreate it for you guys like I wanted to post it literally the day after she posted it but I was so tired and exhausted that I just I couldn't get myself to do it um, I had pneumonia which is ridiculous I'm so young but I still got pneumonia and recovering from that takes a really really long time I'm not contagious anymore but I'm still recovering so I really hope you guys appreciate this little video um, I'm trying to get back in the groove of things so with that quick little intro we're gonna be doing the gorgeous carnival 2020 look I'll put it up again here hopefully a zoom in if I can it's really hard to find like super HD quality pictures that look besides the ones that she posted online. Um, but I am so excited to get started. As you can see, I have my base on already because I thought it would save a little time. I just use my usual foundation routine and concealer routine. You can do the same. Um, there's nothing really different when it comes to the base. You just got to do your own base. Um, the, for the contour, what I did use, I'll let you know is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil because she did have quite a dark contour if you notice even the blush was on the darker side so I used the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil as you can see I've hit pan um, love that friggin bronzer it's the best contour for me it's not orangey like most other bronzers so I love it um, I do want to invest in a cream one soon we'll see and I used from the Emily Needs palette ignore my background but I used the Joy Blush. It's a little bit on the darker side. The bronzer is a bit too orange for me, so I just mixed it a little with the Chocolate Soleil when I did it because I still wanted it to be dark enough to register on camera. Um, but I used the Joy Blush to kind of get that blush look. I may add more later depending on how I feel after I have my eyes on. So we're just going to jump right in, guys. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Jumbo Milk Primer, or well, it's not really known as a primer but it's a jumbo eye pencil i'm just gonna go directly in because i want like a super like light base so that when i do do the eyeshadow it is like as true and as poppy as possible i honestly have been dying to get this <laughs> So as you guys saw in the picture, she has a very kind of minty, blue-greeny situation going on there. So I have two palettes that I'm going to work with to see if I can achieve that exact look. Um, so this is the Morphe, which one is this? The 39A. I got it as a birthday gift a while ago, but I quite love this palette because it's such a great balance of neutrals and brights. Um, and I got some colors I didn't have, so I'm going to use this bottom color here. I believe it's called Taylor. So Taylor as in someone who fixes your clothes, that kind of Taylor. Um, so we're going to go in with Taylor just because I want to see what the payoff is like. Um, all right. Because if it's what I hope it is, it's going to be... Oh, I think that's gonna work. Oh, I think that's gonna work. Okay, fabulous. I was like, as soon as I saw that picture, I was like, I have those colors. I can actually do this look. So I'm just using a powder brush just to get the eyeshadow on first. And then I'll go in and like blend it out and do it. Like scraped off the top layer. <laughs> I 
think I got the color just right. That makes me so happy. Like, close enough, you know? And if I want to add a little pizzazz, as I was saying, I'm going to take a, little, a detailed crease brush, and I'm going to grab my Urban Decay Volume 2, and I'm going to go right into flip side, right here. And we're going to see what that looks like. As you can see, I'm doing this right into the monitor, so I'm not looking into a mirror right now. I'm looking into my camera, so I'm going to have to grab my mirror soon just to... I'll... It's like minty blue, and then it has that dark brown contour here, right? It looks so... F it's so good. It's so good, especially with our outfit. I kind of just washed the remainder on my lid. So I'm going to extend it out. Because when she does the thick liner, it's going to kind of, you know, hide most of it. Because she does like her liner. My girl likes her liner. And rightfully so. That look, that look like really suits her. <laughs> okay. So we're going to extend it out. you can still kind of see the layers as I mentioned in my previous video layering is so important when it comes to shadow play so you have to be very very um, patient and you got to learn how to layer and then go back and add color and smudge it out and do it again and do it again um, I will try to show you as much of this in real time as I can I just don't want it to be like a super long video that's why I did my face base in the first place um, I'm going to do my under eye last because it's just like that mintiness in the bottom, but I want to get the whole eye on first, the brown. Um, I might not use but the Morphe color is perfect, and right now minty ice um, kind of looks are really in. It's very trendy. ColourPop has a mint uh, palette. Huda came out with a <laughs> mint palette. Uh... There's a NYX has a great mint eyeshadow that I saw in store recently. It's a little lighter, but I think you could make it work for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna use much more of that eyeshadow on my eye because it's. We need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna add a corner. I'm gonna go back in with a crease brush and add in some more color from Morphe. And we're gonna pack it up. And try if you have hooded eyes, try to go a bit above your crease because as I said, she adds that liner. So we want to make sure this actually shows up. Okay. I'm going to grab my mirror. Because I really need to see what I'm doing here. I'll show you guys too. I'm just going in and layering. As I said. I'm going to do this crease brush. I'm going to extend it out. Yeah. Perfect. My lid face is like so abysmal. Like so abysmal. Try to do it this way so you guys can see. It's like so abysmal. Like we're already at my brow bone. Because of how much of hooded eyes I have. But it's looking pretty alright so far, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add some of the dark contour now. Um, I say contour, but that's pretty much what it is. You're contouring your eyes, I mean, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Huh. She kind of had something a little lighter. It looked like she had something like this in the crease, and then kind of build it up with like a darker contour just a little bit, okay? So we're going to go in with this shade here, which is Sunder, okay, Sunder, or Sunder, right? I'm going to go right in with my detail. Um, sorry, what am I saying? This is the blending eye brush. I love their blending eye brush, but I also really love their detail crease brush. I'm going to go in with that later with the darker color, you'll see, but I freaking love their blending brush, okay? Um, so we're going to go in. Just... See the Morphe brown. It did a really weird thing. It kind of like mixed with the blue and created a weird situation. So I think I'm gonna go in with a darker brown, which is this brown right here, and that shade is called Cut Crease. Perfect. Okay, so Cut Crease. We're gonna go in with that and see what that's like. Oh yeah, okay. So that's the color we want. So I'm just going into the outer corners. Just to get... And as you can see, wherever the mint and the ice is like wearing off, I'm gonna go in and add more. Okay. 
And by all means, if you have other brushes that you prefer to use or specific brushes that you feel like would do a better job, all up to you. This is me literally doing this on the fly just from looking at a picture. I don't even know the details of what her makeup artist did. I probably should have looked it up, but like I don't even know if it's out there because she was in Trinidad. So I'm trying to create that V look. Holding that palette is so annoying. I'm gonna grab my mirror, take a look. Now we're gonna do this side. It is a little patchy, I will I have to admit, but that's pretty much a common consensus when it comes to Morphe that it can be a bit patchy which is mad annoying but what can you do I'm just gonna come closer Whoop. and do it this way and see I'm gonna add more brown you can barely see it on camera I fucking hate that I hate that so much because I <laughs> I cannot afford a more expensive and amazing camera right now. This is my phone. I'm using my phone. I edit on my phone. I do everything on my phone. So I wanted to have that really warm brown look that she had. Um, so I'm mixing the browns up top. The top three, they're frame, mass, and cut crease. So I just dipped into mass, mass, and cut crease. Okay, these two right here same family of brown and we're just gonna go in and work that in because we want to build that brown up really good and I think that helped because mass is like a really really nice brown shade um, very nice neutral and that one is blending out so much better oh. see the consistency of Morphe needs to be a bit more on point you know because we want that consistency, you know? Like, it's not even like all their shadows suck. Some of them are so gorgeous. But that consistency would be really nice. I haven't played with this palette quite a lot, so that's why I'm commenting more on how I kind of feel about it. Um, I've only used, like, the brighter colors, which I really liked. The pink and the purpley one did kind of stain, but that's besides the point. As you can see, it's becoming quite dark, but the blue is still there because I layered, and I'm going to go in and add more to get that perfect look that she had. Sink as in being ready to be washed, not just soaking, because that's really bad for your brushes. Don't do that. I was thinking of even doing a DIY brush cleanser video for you guys just because I see a lot of people purchasing um, brush cleaners from the store and it's like why would you waste money on that when you have stuff at home that you could use to make your own and you can make so many more batches with the same kind of price you know so this one I think I feel like I blended out my right eye so much better this is my left right now so you know, I really like that. It's inspired, <laughs> if not exact. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Yeah, yeah. Going in with Sunder a bit more. <laughs> it's such a cute little guy. And I think I want to pick a, a warmer brown. Hmm, let's see, what can we use? Oh, maybe I'll use a little bit of my ColourPop. So I, I made a custom palette from ColourPop, okay? And I think I want to use a little bit of that Sparkly Humble Brag, just because I've been dying to use it. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a color that Nicki Minaj used for her look, but I just really love this color, and I want to see what it does if I add it right in the crease, you know? Oh, I like that. 
so you can kind of close it in you guys I hate that it's barely registering on camera but you will see you will see you will see the pictures hopefully oh I like that it adds the perfect little sparkly touch um, I swear there's a reason why <laughs> People say invest in a good camera. Oh, that is so pretty. I know it's looking real messy right now on camera, but in person it's like looking solid. Um, I just have to add more mint and cream to kind of round it out more. Okay. I'm going to go in with that dark brown contour, which is feathered. And we're going to see if we can just kind of define this a bit more. Oh yeah, okay. That's dark, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Play with the curves on my eye. I kind of just see... Where does it need a little oomph, you know? Where do I want to add this and that? I just play. And that's the most fun part about doing this is you just got to play with makeup. That's what makeup's for. You got to play and have fun with it. Um, whether it's adding something intense or not, it's just about playing and seeing what works for you. What works for your eyes. Um, like right now, I really want to buff that out and just take it out there, you know? Just want to buff it out and take it out there. So, like, yeah, so in real time, this video is at 17 minutes, but hopefully I'll forward through some of that blending for you guys so you're not, like, just suffering through it with me. But it takes a long time, okay? Just keep that in mind. It takes time to do looks like this. It's not easy, nor is it like a 20 minute look because she's going to a party, okay? She's trying to look like a boss. So we're gonna go back in with that min shadow, Taylor. Finding something to work with that. We're gonna go in, we're gonna blend that out. I think I'm gonna use just this kind of like transition color just to make it a little bit more seamless, okay? Just to make it a bit more seamless. I'll try to take really beautiful pictures for you guys. I mean, it's hard, but because of my setup, but I will, I will try. Okay, so that's that. And we're going to go in and add in an inner corner. So the inner corner was just like this really beautiful highlight slash gold. I think I'm going to dip into the Book of Shadows or, you know, if you have anything similar to this, then feel free. Okay, I'm going to go into Half Baked, which I believe is still in production as a single, okay? It's like the most perfect gold. As you can see, it's a little bit harder to maneuver. Let me Again. So. She had it all up in the under eye. All under. Is. 
And I bet you that if we wet this, it would be great. Let me wet it. So I'm using the e.l.f. Dewy Skin Mist. And we're just gonna spray it right on the brush. Color first, then this. And we're gonna go in. And we're gonna add in that intense mint. See, it makes it a bit more poppy. She pulls off this look so beautifully. Like, I could never, but you see how it makes me look like I'm dead? Yeah. That's the situation that happens with me when I do this. That's why I just tend to avoid under eye stuff completely. Like, it's smoky and gorgeous, sure, but like... I'm just adding more highlight. And on the top, she had a very chill highlight, so I'm going to go in with Sellout, which is also still in production. It's a great highlight. Like, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Still, after all these years, it performs so beautifully. There's no funky smell. And the ones that looked a little weird, I just kind of scraped the tops off real good. But not that I would recommend that you do that. But, you know, I like to save expensive... <laughs> just to make it kind of be like really oomphy you know and I'm gonna go in also and add a little bit of color that's literally the name of the shade which is right here I want to go in with that and just add it into the crease to get a little bit more of that bluish dimension that we're looking for okay so right here I'm gonna add it in you might think, oh, it's not doing a lot, but it is. It is. It's adding dimension and layers, okay? See the difference? Like, I think you may not be able to tell, but it kind of enhances the dark. It makes it look a little bit darker, which is what we want. And I know her look, it was a bit more brown versus dark-ish brown. Um, but you know, it's really hard to do that when I don't know what shade to use, but I think I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with like this color right here. Okay. Which is evolve just to get that brown. Like I'm a perfectionist and I feel like I haven't succeeded unless I've, I've gotten the color that she had. You know, at least close enough to it with what I have. It's definitely adding dimension. It's making it less blue and black and more brown, I hope. I gotta take a look in my mirror. Yeah, okay, so I like... What do I got? I'm gonna go in with ColourPop again. And I'm going to go in with this orange. It's bratty. That's what it's called. I feel like orange will add the perfect kind of tone that I'm looking for. Let's see. Just kind of a wash of orange over top the brown. See how it kind of warmed it up? Compare it. Kind of warms it up. If we're going to compare ColourPop and Morphe, I would definitely have to say ColourPop is better quality. The only annoying thing is that because I'm in Canada, the shipping is ridiculous, in my opinion. And also the conversion from USD to ca Canadian. Like, I don't like that we can't see Canadian dollars. We can only see USD, and of course it's a lot more here. Um, so... So what I kind of just quickly did off camera is that because I wanted it to have a more of a blue pop, personally, I went in with the ColourPop shade Lost and Found. And I basically just patted it right on top of my other lid. I'm just doing it on this one. 
like that because I wanted it to have that blue kind of pop. I'm going to do the same on the under eye. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Just because I don't want it to be too, too bluey. Um, but I think I like that a bit better now that that's on there. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot better. So this is the eyes. I'm going to go and continue with the liner. So Nicki Minaj likes to do her liner quite thick, um, Amy Winehouse style. Okay, so I'm going to go in and just try to mimic kind of that feel. And she extends it quite outwards, okay. And just like that. I love the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is so easy to use and hold. I have a feeling Nikki goes even harder, but as you can see, I have hooded eyes, so it is extremely tough to do the Nikki look because her eyes, she has such amazing lid space. God bless her. Um, I'm going to go in and kind of trying to just perfect it a bit more. I think that's pretty much as big as I can go without it looking crazy. Um, just cause look, like look how thick that is, but because I've hooded eyes, it just <laughs> covers it up, you know? So. Alright, we can work with that. We can, we can work with that. So that's the liner. I'll just have to take a picture like this, just so it's like not crazy. <laughs> I think I want to thin it out a bit. I did make this one quite thick. So we'll just extend it out. And we'll, we'll do that. We'll just take it out as far as we can because hers goes quite high up into the eyebrows. So as far as you can kind of go with it, okay. I'm gonna go in and kind of clean that up. Oh, I think that that looks good. Okay, that's that's a bit better. So I have mascara on, but I've decided that I want to add some wispies, some lashes. So I'm gonna add the lashes because that's annoying and takes a long time. And I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. So this is yes, me with lashes on. These are the only kind of fancy lashes I had. It's probably not as close to what she was there's <laughs> actually there came with two pairs um and it was a really good price I <laughs> lid space did i say that already um but i think it's still looking very pretty you know like kind of like a night out you could totally do this so i'm gonna add more mints and just stuff like that under the eye in a bit but i wanted to kind of show you the lip so I wiped off my lip gloss that I had on. Sometimes it gets a little hard. Okay, so I'm using actually an eyeliner pencil. It's from Annabelle called Mink because I didn't have something super dark and she kind of had like a dark Chola liner gun. Looking a little... But it looks crazy but if you look at the picture it was quite dark and we'll blend that out so it's like not as crazy and I'm gonna go in with a lipstick from Bite Beauty this one is called Keens at least I think I'm saying that right I'll have to fix the liner again but so we want it to be kind of that kind of nude and then we're gonna go in with a one of my favorite nudes actually for our skin tone uh, from Rimmel, I think this is? Yeah, it's Rimmel. It's called Asia, okay? And it's like the perfect, it's just like the perfect nude, in my opinion. I'm gonna go on that. On top. Just so I can get that base. And then I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna add some more liner. So I'm gonna add the mink. I'm gonna layer liners so that it's not as crazy dark.
that Chola look. I haven't done my brows yet, so it doesn't look right just yet. But that in. So so our quince. Okay. I'm gonna tap just to help blend it into the dark. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be back. I just wanted to let you guys know that I kind of went back and looked at the picture like after I finished filming and I wanted to add more blue because I noticed she kind of brought out the blue a, a bit more like her makeup artist. So this is the final look. Okay, and I added more blue at the bottom right here and that's it. I just wanted to give I just thought some of you might want to see how I'm going to do the brows. Um, so I'm going in with the Gimme Brow. <laughs> them to be shaped okay so that they look right I just brush up and then I go across and down super easy I don't make them super shaped or anything like you know I don't spend a lot of time on my brows usually I'll just do that and I'll head out the freaking door just and then I'll brush through Sometimes if I'm feeling like, oh, I want to go the extra mile, I'll grab my other eyebrow pencil that has a little brush on the end. I love that little brush on the end. I think it's really good for shaping and just getting you that polished brow look. Okay. And I'm going to grab the Kat Von D um, eye contour palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Lucius. And I feel like, oh, it needs to be more auburn. So I'll go and I'll add more. If you can see kind of the difference, it kind of matches my hair more. But you can tell with hers, it was like... I've noticed that she follows a lot of Marilyn Monroe's techniques when it comes to how she does her lips and her eyes it's what works for her and it's what she does okay so that's the auburn I feel like it's not quite as light as hers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my chocolate soleil and I'm gonna throw that on top <laughs> And I think you guys will notice that when it comes to this look as well. Um, I'm going to give this a good dousing of my e.l.f. dewy mist. Already, as you can see, without a highlight, just that dewy mist makes it look really nice. It's a very bronze goddessy type of look. My hair isn't quite as long, and I don't have any awesome headdress to wear right now to match. But this is my rendition of Nicki Minaj's Carnival look. Um, I feel like I want to add a bit more mints because that's how crazy. <laughs> that's just me, guys. I want to add a bit more mints. So I'm going to go in with the Sailor. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I do feel like, yes, I could have gotten heavier with the contour, but I think I did a pretty good rendition of Nicki Minaj's Carnival 2020 look. It's not as perfect as hers or as beautiful because no one can be her, as I've said before. But I think I tried a very kind of wearable look. Um, hers is definitely wearable too, but mine is a bit more muted. And just know that I am a total noob. I'm not like a professional. So this is just my way of paying homage to the queen. And I'm so happy that she's living her best life and having such a great time in Trinidad. And I really hope you guys like this look. Um, let me know what you think down below. And I can't wait to see you again. 
Thank you so much for joining me, and please remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for more. I'm going to get better and better as time goes on, so I hope you guys can join me throughout my journey. It would mean so much to me, and I noticed that I got a few new subscribers while I was actually sick, so I am so grateful to you. Hello, new subscribers. Thank you so much, and I hope that you guys will continue watching my videos and love what I'm putting out. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye!